Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we are unboxing and reviewing this uh, wireless charging base, which can also charge your Apple Watch, which is really cool. Now, in this case, this is a pretty uh, decently priced item you can find on Amazon, made by Aspect Tech. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, links will be in the description if you want to go pick one of these up. And of course, in this video, as you know, review and unboxing. So uh, let's go ahead and show you around the box first. Uh, on the front here, enjoy a simple, free life without it, without cables. That's the life I want to live right there. Uh, iWatch, wireless charger base, and then it has some Chinese writing right there. Model A3, nice little diagram here. Uh, some specs i guess you call it or uh information about it on the side uh and then here is the english information if you want to pause the video and look at that do that now uh on the back here basically the exact same thing that's on the front uh not much more to say about it so let's go ahead and get into it oh there's the label if you want to look that up all right let's go ahead and pull this open and there it is. Okay, so it's in some bubble wrap. Uh, I see a charger or a cord here, so let's go and take that out. I believe that's a micro USB. So let's toss that off to the side. And here is the actual charger itself. It's not too heavy, not too light. Pretty nice. Let's go and see what else is here. Uh, instructions. Okay, so pretty small pamphlet here. Cool. Let's go ahead and look at this charger. There it is. Okay, so it's made of plastic so far. What's this? Little protection thing. Gonna peel that off there. Oh well, that didn't work. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. Cool. Got some pads on the bottom here. USB port on the side. And then micro USB to uh, power these. And then, of course, for this, uh, the wireless or the uh, Apple Watch charger goes here. So it just sits in there and then you have to wire it down here. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, hook this all up and see how it works. All right, so as you can tell, I have it all wired up. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I actually had a little bit of confusion uh, just trying to figure out how this cable gets down in here and how it gets through that little tiny hole there and through here And I looked in the instructions and it's very simple uh, I'm not going to explain how but it's it's pretty simple if you have that same question Just look in the instructions and it uh, clears it up Now this USB port on the side is very handy because you could just uh, plug in your Apple watch charger You know right there so you don't have to have two uh, wall plugs instead of, you know, the one that you actually do need. So that's a very smart idea on their, uh, on their end. So let's go ahead and set this down. And sorry for the mess of the cables. If you were actually, you know, going to use this in this position or whatever, you know, you would make that look all nice and pretty. Uh, so let's go ahead and just set my phone on there and see if it works. And there you go. 76% charged. Now in this case, this is a iPhone XS Max, but it'll work on iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 8, uh, iPhone X, iPhone XS. It'll work on uh, Samsung phones too. Pretty much any phone that has wireless charging, just make sure it works before you buy it. Cause I don't want you guys, you know, getting it and then being like, why doesn't it work? You know, so uh, very cool. And when it's plugged in, there's a little blue light down here. Does it change when I take the phone off? Yeah, it does. It changes to a green LED. Now, I just want to see if I get a phone that does not have wireless charging and I try to set it on here, what will it do? Obviously, it's not going to power the phone, but okay, nothing. It just stays green. So if you set your phone on there and just stays green, uh, it's likely that you don't have wireless charging. Um, Anyway, so right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a charging score on this and see uh, basically the quality of the charger is basically what that measures. So uh, 
Let me go do that and I'll be back in a second. All right, so while that is taking the charging score, uh, I just want to show you guys, you know, how you put the Apple Watch on the charger in this case. And it's very simple. Just put it on there and charging just like that. So very simple. Uh, of course, if you already have an Apple Watch or a iPhone that you've wireless charged before, you know, it's very simple. You know already how to do this. But thought I'd just show that, you know, just to clear up any confusion. All right, so as you can tell, my charging score has been taken. Your charging score is 816, which is not bad at all. Let's go and click OK. Uh, 139 seconds to charge 1% of your battery, which, once again, is not too bad at all. And keep in mind, I'm using a uh, an Apple 5-watt, 1-amp uh, power brick, so it's nothing fancy. Of course, you can use a, a fast charger if you choose to. Um, so there's that. I guess there's not much more to say about it, other than I want to turn back on my uh, low power mode. Um, so, what do I think about this? Well, I think it's very good. I am quite surprised about just overall how good it is, because the more I've been looking at it and using it, I think it's just really nice. And uh, charging wise, I mean, it does its job. It it does its job. It's a wireless charger here. Actually, let's see if it's warm. No, it's not. That's good. Um, so you know, the wireless charger is here. Works good. It seems to at least. And then, of course, you have your watch your watch uh, charger here, which is very cool. Overall, I really like this item. I'm very happy with it. Um, links will be in the description if you want to go pick up one of these. And uh, I guess that's it for this video. So I hope everybody enjoyed. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.